Hello everyone, welcome to Cook Me Herbs Coding class. So Netlify just made another edge cloud thing called Netlify Edge Functions. And I thought it was really cool and I just ported one of my projects over to using it. So I'm just going to go over the main differences between Netlify Edge Functions and Netlify Functions because on the surface they seem pretty similar but they're actually not. So. Both of them are serverless functions that you build using JavaScript that take a request and return a response. The differences begin when we start to look at what they can do and what types of requests and responses they are able to take. So Netlify functions are built using Node.js, or I don't know if, they, if they're built using Node.js, but they use Node.js, so you can use any Node module and it'll work with your Netlify functions. Netlify edge functions are built using Dino. So you cannot use Node.js packages. And I think Dino has their own like package repository the same way Node.js does, but I'm pretty sure you can't use them with edge functions because if you go to the API page, you can see that down here, you can use a bunch of web APIs and it can use these Dino APIs. So I'm pretty sure what this means is that you can't just, you know, install various modules the way you can with functions, but that's okay. Edge functions also have very different limits from regular functions. They can take a lot more requests, but they are allowed a lot less execution time. So a regular Netlify function can take up to, I think, 15 seconds to run, and an edge function can take up to 50 milliseconds. That is the maximum cap you have. But that's 50 milliseconds not including any time it takes to make network requests. So if you're fetching something from somewhere else using your edge function, that does not count towards your 50 millisecond cap. So pretty much you can you can do a lot of stuff with it. The other thing, and in my opinion the coolest thing about Netlify edge functions is that there's no limit to how big your response can be. Netlify functions have a limit of, I think, 6 kilobytes. I don't know if it's... Yeah, I think it's 6 kilobytes. And edge functions have no limit. Additionally, if you want to return a response that is not text using a Netlify function, you have to encode it as base64. They can only return text or something encoded into text. Whereas Netlify edge functions can return any type of response. The other thing I like about them is, as you can see here, the request and response objects are just the standard request and response objects that are built into JavaScript and the same ones that you would use in your web browser rather than a made up Netlify one that they made for the other one. And then you also get access to a bunch of data in this context thing, including location data, and you get an API for modifying and viewing cookies. And then it also lets you chain edge functions, which I'm not sure exactly how that works, but it does something. So that's pretty cool. And I was able to rewrite a cores proxy that I built for one of my projects, which is a client for my school's like assignment system. And it was a lot simpler to do using edge functions because since it uses the standard request and response objects, I don't have to make sure that I have the right HTTP headers when I send that same request. You can just replicate everything with all the same headers. And then when you get the response back, you don't have to like check all of the headers. You can just return the exact response that fetch gave you and you don't have to import node fetch. So performance wise, I think they're about the same. I haven't done any like crazy tests, but the website still works. The load speed is still good. And it also gives you a nice little API for rewriting URLs, which is very useful because I had a function set up for the theme that was based on a cookie and it would send you to a different CSS file based on what theme cookie you had. And it was using HTTP redirects and it took a second. Using edge functions, you can just rewrite and it'll just return whatever was inside that URL. So it's a bit faster. Anyways, that's Netlify Edge Functions. 
I think they're pretty cool and I think you should give them a try if you're using Netlify functions and you don't need to use Node.js or you want to return big non-text files. Thanks for watching and remember, everything is on fire.